Cyclone Monta, a name as soft as a flower but power as fierce as a storm, has recently made a landfall on the eastern coast of India. Though the storm was fierce, but India's preparedness was stronger this time. Let us decode how it forms, how India responded, and what lessons it leaves for the future governance and climate resilience, and how it became a case study for effective disaster management. So the cyclone was formed on the southeast part of Bay of Bengal and the landfall took place specifically between Machali Patnam and Kalinga Patnam near Kakinada in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Though uh, the red alert was not only received by Andhra Pradesh but also neighboring states of Odisha as well as parts of Tamil Nadu. First, let us begin with the discussion of how a cyclone forms. This is a very easy process to understand. There are two crucial factors responsible for the formation of a cyclone. First, presence of a large water body. Second, the temperature above the water body should be around or above 27 degrees Celsius. Due to high temperature, the water warms up, the air above the water body rises. This creates a low pressure zone above the water body. Hence, to fill the gap, the surrounding cool air moves in. The incoming air also warms up and rises and the process continues. The rising moisture creates clouds. The continuous movement of cold and warm air between low and high pressure zones creates a cyclonic circulation and this process continues until the moisture the supply of the moisture diminishes and this is possible only when the cyclone moves towards a coastal area in india 13 coastal states and union territories are more affected by cyclones okay and uh, four states specifically uh, tamil nadu Odisha, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh are more vulnerable to cyclones. Particularly coastal areas are prone to cyclones as these are the landing points for the cyclones which formed over the sea. And specifically Bay of Bengal is more active in terms of cyclone formation as compared to the Arabian Sea. Uh, partly because it is uh, warmer, more enclosed and moisture inflow is greater here. You must have noticed that the names of the cyclones are quite weird. The reason being, the name is being provided by the member countries of WMO Escape Panel on Tropical Cyclones List and it is managed by Regional Specialized Meteorological Center, RSMC, in New Delhi. Whenever a tropical disturbance reaches a particular threshold, it is assigned a name from the list which is already predetermined. The purpose of naming is only for communication clarity. The name comes from 13 participating countries, for example, the name Montha came from Thailand. In Thai, Monta means a fragrant flower or a beautiful flower. 